If there's any opportunity that is in front of you, grab it and make the most out of it. Always appreciating the small wins. If you're the smartest guy in the room, then you're in the wrong room. <laughs> yeah. Today on Culture and Career Corner with Sonny Kayla, we'll hear from three IT by Design team members who serve the company in different ways. Fedge, Ryan, Jane. As each one shares their unique career journey, what they like about IT by Design's culture, and three personal life lessons. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy learning about our IT by Design teammates. Over to you, Sonny. Jane, Ryan, and Fez. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Hi, Sunny. Good morning. So glad to see you guys. I truly appreciate you joining me today. And so we're going to just uh, get into this conversation today, uh, culture and career conversation. And uh, Jane, we're going to start with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. So hi, Sunny. First of all, thank you for having us here. Uh, my name is Jane, so I'm 25 years old. I'm a graduate of civil engineering, uh, but right now, wholeheartedly chosen the path of the IT and currently a senior system engineer here with ITPD. Awesome. Awesome. We're so glad to have you here at IT by Design. And uh, Ryan, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, Sunny. Uh, again, uh, thank you for having me as well. Uh, I've been uh, with the uh, BPO industry uh, for 14 years already. And, but uh, this is the first time that uh, I was able to uh, work with a uh, MSP. And I'm really glad uh, that I was able to uh, find uh, this uh, industry and, you know, with uh, all the opportunity that I'll be able to uh, get, you know, by learning uh, those things that, uh, you know, I can only imagine uh, back when I was in the BPO. So it's really, really uh, an honor to uh, be able to be part of uh, ITBD. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. And uh, we are super excited to have you here in the MSP industry. And uh, from last uh, trip, uh, I remember you from the Life by Design program and uh, really excited about the plan that you have in terms of your career plan. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be great. Uh, Feds. Hey, Sonny. Uh, yes, uh, thank you for this opportunity. And uh, I've been working for four years now and uh, three years uh, mostly of them is also in the BPO industry and working in the tech field has always been my plan. And uh, I'm grateful to ITBD because uh, uh, IT by Design helped me to get on that path. So thanks again. Awesome. So you probably have had that little bit of... Uh experiencing IT by design culture. And the question is, uh, Jane, uh, how would you describe IT by design culture? All right. So IT by design culture, for me, I consider it a, a blessing for me to be a part of it because of the incredible individual folks that I've been working with. You know, they're providing a great environment for a workplace. Like here in IT by Design, what I'm very glad to experience was that everyone has been incredibly supportive of one another. Like if you are interested in picking up a new skill or best practices or any questions you have from your end, people here are more than happy to lend a hand. And that was one of the best culture that I've experienced, you know, as a professional in a workplace. How about you, Ryan? How would you describe IT by design culture? Uh, so Shane already mentioned the things uh, about the professional part of it. Uh, I would say it's it's viral in a way that, you know, the first, this is the first thing that uh, uh, I've noticed when I first uh, joined uh, IT by Design. Uh, the people here are very welcome and very warm. And you cannot even distinguish wh who are the ones in, in management and who are the ones in production. Uh, every, everyone treats you the same. And with this, uh, I, I've tried to uh, impose on myself that uh, since, you know, there will be uh, a lot of... Uh, 
uh, people coming in now since we are growing, I want to, you know, share the same feeling that I got the first time uh, I've joined IT by Design. So I would say uh, it's really good from the first day up until now. Nothing changes. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, Fez. Uh, yeah, if I were to describe ITBD's culture, it's for me, it's uh, re it's very collective. As uh, what Ryan mentioned, everyone here treats everyone equally. And uh, management, they always make sure that everyone, uh, including engineers, bench, everyone is uh, included when it comes to, let's say, planning new things. When there's conflicts, they make sure they clear it out in a very... Uh, really good way in an effective way and the uh, management always listens to the employees and uh, yeah being collective everyone works together uh, that made this what we are right now and uh, that's what I love with ITBD. Awesome thank you thank you for sharing that uh, part of this episode is to share our life experience with others so they don't need to make the same mistakes if someone is willing interested hungry to learn from others' experience, people can learn from our life experience so we can pay it forward. The question is, what are your top three life lessons learned that you would like to share with other professionals? Sure. Uh, yeah, w the top one would be, this is something that I learned from ITBD and it's uh, by always appreciating the small wins uh, always uh, celebrate small wins because uh, there are times that whenever we're in the point where we feel like we're down, where we have, we fail at everything. Um, learning to appreciate these small wins helps us uh, change our mindset and uh, how we move moving forward. And the second thing will be um, learning from everybody, uh, be open to feedback and uh, that uh, learning new things is permanent uh third one for me will be um yeah in times of crisis learn to stay calm before you act so don't act too quickly awesome thank you yes. uh, ryan actually the biggest impact on me is the company's motto which is uh live life by design and not by default uh, as i mentioned earlier i've been with this industry for more than a decade but never in my life uh, I've tried to, uh, you know, uh, set up goals, like exact goals. Uh, I might say, you know, I want to be like this and like that. But uh, only after joining Life by Design were I able to uh, really uh, attain those goals by making sure that they are attainable. I have a timeline on it. And even my health. Actually, this is something that, you know, I was neglecting for a very long time. And after joining Live by Design, by simply, you know, making sure that uh, you make plans on everything that you do. Even my wife is also implying, you know, and uh, I'm teaching about Life by Designs and uh, the methods that we use here. Because it's, uh, I believe it's really uh, impacting my life and it's really good to, to be able to share it with others. So amazing, right? What are the other two? Uh, well, uh, the other one is, this is something that you said before. Uh, if you're the smartest guy in the room, then you're in the wrong room. <laughs> yeah. This, this is something that was also, you know, I've been uh, thinking about it. And, you know, every, every day here, uh, I want to make sure that I've learned something new. Uh, making sure that, you know, uh, I accept help from my colleague. And I improve. Uh, even uh, a small amount of things, uh, but making sure that every day uh, I am a better person uh, each time. And the other one is, uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm really here to learn as much as I can. So I'm I, I wish you know to uh, be able to stay longer in that way. I'll gain uh, more experience and uh, more knowledge. Awesome. And Jane. Um, the top one that I always remember on the top of my head is that if there's any opportunity that is in front of you, grab it and make the most out of it. So no matter what it is, it may be challenging or easy that not everyone has that opportunity that is being given to you right now. So uh, go grab it and make the most out of it. And the second would be 
there's no harm in trying and failing. So it is normal for us to fail at some times. So it's a normal situation. So it's just that uh, to be proud of every step that we have taken, uh, no matter what path we go through. And the last would be to be humble in different ways. So I got to, it's humbleness by being acceptant when someone gave you an advice for improvement. The second, humbleness by sharing what you have to people who wanted to learn or people who need it. So humbleness about receiving and humbleness about giving. Yeah, that is so good. I truly appreciate you guys. You coming to our culture and career corner, Jane, Ryan, and Fez. I truly appreciate you, and I wish you all the best in your career at IT by Design. Thank you, Sammy. Really appreciate this.